What up, Fortnite fam? I'm Matt, back again to break down everything new that you can expect to see in Chapter 3 Season 2, in under 5 minutes. But hey, before any of that, remember that if you truly want to pop off this season, you should head over to ProGuides.com. We got some of the best coaches in the business, and all they want to do is turn you into the best Fortnite player that you can possibly be. Click the link in the description or in the top right of the video to find out more. The new season is officially out, and with it are some changes to the Chapter 3 map that we've all got to know over the past few months. The most obvious changes are the giant blimps that can now be seen over key locations across the island. Almost every major settlement has one, and in game, you will actually be able to land on these to fight on them. Next are the various destroyed sections across the map. This season is titled Resistance, and that means full scale war has come to the island. Numerous parts of the map have exploded as the fighting against the IO rages on. Other than that, it doesn't look like there are too many major changes to the map. The oasis in the desert now has some buildings built up around it that didn't previously exist, but as far as we can tell, that's the only major big change. As the season continues, different parts of the island will be controlled by the IO and the Seven, but we're not sure what that will actually do to the map in practice. Find something on the map that we didn't mention? Well, drop it in the comments so everyone can know. From the map to weapons and mechanics. The pump shotgun and heavy sniper have both been unvaulted right alongside the C4 and the revolver. It's always great to have a pump season, and while the striker pump was okay, it definitely didn't hold a candle to the original. We've also got a brand new org style assault rifle that you can aim down sights with, and a brand new thermal assault rifle to look forward to using. Alongside all of that, iFire Monkey also believes that shockwave grenades appear to be returning. A new vehicle mod has been added to the game. The cow catcher will allow you to place a big battering ram on the front of your vehicle, presumably allowing you to rip through enemy builds as if they were made of paper. On the subject of vehicle mods and vehicles, the ballers are set to return at some point in this season. According to Hypex, there's a new upcoming vehicle with the codename Hamster Ball Prototype that has 400 health. There will also be some kind of quad bike coming to the island in the future. Toolboxes are back, though Hypex doesn't know why right now, and C4s will do 12 times, yes, 12 times the damage to all vehicles. Heavy snipers will also deal increased vehicle damage, and thermal floppers will have a slightly shorter duration. Much like the last war season we had in Fortnite, we'll be able to fund things in the war effort over the course of the season, and thanks to iFire Monkey, we know exactly what we'll be adding to the game through this system. Anti-vehicle, which is presumably the lock-on missile launcher. Balloons, a drivable battle bus, boogie bombs, a bubble shield, the return of the chopper, the combat, the cow catcher, red dot sights, rift makers, and finally, turrets that you can actually apply to vehicles will all be on offer. Supply drops will slightly change this season, with the Seven having their own new supply drop type. Whether this supply drop has a different loot pool than the usual one is currently unknown. This season features clambering and parkour. The new movement option will actually allow players to scale walls, allowing them to pull themselves up walls in a similar way to games like Apex Legends. This is a massive change, and will surely have major impacts on the game going forward. All in all, this season looks absolutely nuts, so make sure you subscribe so you can get the lowdown on all the best ways to play as we release all of our guides so that you can be the best Fortnite player you can be. I'll see you in the next one.